spinach, it takes a fair amount of cooking to make kale leaves tender, and their stems are nearly impervious to tenderizing. That's why the first step in preparing kale is trimming the stems. In this video, I'll show you how to trim away the stems of kale. This technique also works great for other leafy greens such as chard or collards. So the aim when you're trimming kale is not just to cut away the stem below the leaf, but also to remove most of the stem that runs down the center, which acts like a supporting rib. So I'm going to place the leaf upside down on my cutting board. And using a paring knife, I'm just going to run the knife right along the stem in a V-shape until the stem is removed. Another way you can do this is to fold the leaf in half and place it on your board. And then in one motion, just run your knife right alongside that stem until the leaves are all removed. Either way, you're left with just the leaves, which will cook up nice and tender in much less time than the stems. For especially tender kale, try freezing it. Freezing breaks down the fibers like no amount of cooking can do. All you do is you stuff the cleaned and trimmed leaves into a heavy-duty zip-top bag and then freeze the kale for a few hours or up to a month. 